this is CS Trades 101. How's everybody doing today? Um, I'm gonna cover some uh, stuff that uh, um, is pretty much obvious, um, but I wanted to get in and do some um, DD on this stuff. Um, just uh, give some insight, uh, just explain um, some information about it. Uh, what I'm talking about is market collapse. Um, we're in a fire sale, market collapse. It's called a bunch of different terms. Negative pull down on the market. Um, this uh, the market runs in cycles, okay? Um, and uh, some cycles are worse than others. They hit ultimate lows. Um, there's a bunch of contributing factors that's playing into this market collapse. And when I say collapse, it's not like you're going to wake up in the morning and all of a sudden stuff's going to be like zero. No, what it is is it it, it goes down slowly and um, it bleeds, they call it bleed the market bleeding or altering or shifting. Um, and it's painful, especially if you have stakes in, um, in some stocks, right? So I'm gonna go through some of the ways um, that you could uh, reduce your stress level and to see um, and to um, not lose as much money when this happens, okay? It's mostly a waiting game, okay? But there's some things you can do in the meantime. Okay, so what we're going to get into is we're going to show the damage that's happening across the market, okay? Um, this is happening worldwide, okay? This is not just on the NASDAQ or the Toronto Stock Exchange up in Canada. Um, it is worldwide, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to use some heat maps, okay? We're going to start off with the S&P 500, okay? This covers a, a, a whole bunch of different type of um, sectors, <clears throat> okay? Um, this first signs that um, I noticed this was a couple months ago um, seeing this negative pull down in the economy okay um, there's too much money pumped into the economy which collapses the dollar it, it just the only people that can make money out of it are the banks okay um, and the banks have overloaded and they've actually had to return some money um, and as you can see on here they're the only ones that are green right now um, because they're just they're just holding okay they've a lot of them are not giving out lines of credit as much. Um, a lot of them are canceling of some of them. Uh, different criterias, the feds are putting in different criteria they have to meet and a lot of us can't meet those because of um, the, the virus and a whole bunch of contributing factors to it, okay? Um, <clears throat> so I just wanted to start off the technology. As we know, already know, there's already a chip shortage that does not help, but that is not what causes this, okay? So um, the technology um, uh, sector is just getting schwacked. Um, hard like totally hard we're seeing um, substantial this is daily okay like I said it's a it's a it's a painful bleed you just watch if you're in on um, some of these stocks and um, I know a lot of you are um, it's painful watching it every day um, I'm probably down close to a hundred thousand dollars right now okay um, am I stressed out um, not I wouldn't say stressed a little concerned um, I've been through this before okay um, and there's ways to minimal, minimize your loss and to come out on top. You heard me correctly, come out on top. There's a, there's a, there's a way that this is what I do, okay? Can't speak for anybody else, but this is what I do. Um, and I'll explain that in a little bit here. <clears throat> so we're starting to see in the tech, in, in um, healthcare, we'll have its ups and downs. Um, depends if they're, um, like they're always breaking through with uh, new technology um, um, protocols and stuff like that, which will pump certain entities okay that's just a forgiven um, <clears throat> so and it just goes on and on but the really one that's very concerning is the communications uh, network uh, service sector um, usually they're doing they do pretty good okay we all need uh, that communication um, they're usually one of the last ones to get hit and and the automakers that's from chip shortage that doesn't help like I said before um, energy sector usually is on its own um, well okay um, they're driven by natural resource and demand, okay? So there's a lot of demand right now because our population's growing. A lot of people are staying home. A lot of people are, are at home, off of work. They use more consumption, okay? So that is why this is up. Um, and I'm going to, people are not, uh, real estate's down quite a bit, is because people aren't buying because they can't afford it. They're just saving because they um, got a little bit jaded and scared. Um, 
when the virus hit, right? There's multiple variants going around, which is affecting everything. Okay, we're gonna pull away from that. Okay, so we're gonna, S&P 500, we're gonna jump into a couple things here. I'm just gonna show you guys some stuff and we're gonna, we're gonna jump into some fail-safe programs that I've come up with, okay? So, um, NASDAQ. <clears throat> pretty sad eh? and this is daily okay um, it just it's it's gonna get a lot worse okay um, like a lot okay I could see it definitely tapping lower than the 2008 crush the 2015 those are cycles okay the 2008 was really bad okay we can thank the hedge funds to that and um, a lot of it was to do with um, the property um, sector okay and finance sector um, for them um, finding over 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 selling things like selling property and loans twice two three times okay committing fraudulent acts um, did not help it over leveraged a lot of people banks and stuff insurance companies and it just trickled it, it collapsed the whole economy pretty much okay DIA here's another one right um, it's crazy remember I said that the financial sector will always do energy will pretty much or it's pretty hard to, to it, especially with um, what's going on people staying at home that will have a, um, a, a climb, okay? Um, and um, we're gonna go into this S WSB. <clears throat> there it is again, eh? Crazy, eh? Isn't that crazy? So <clears throat> we're gonna jump out of this now, or actually I'll just leave it on the screen here. I'm gonna explain a couple things. Okay, we're gonna use um, a stock here. Um, let's, let's use... Um, Let's use some dividend stocks, okay? Um, let's use ticker symbol T, okay? For instance, um, it, it's like I said, that one is having a negative pull down too, and usually it doesn't. So what you do is if you do have extra money sitting around, and I know some people don't, some people do, right? Um, what, I was, what, I, what I do is in a situation like this, okay? It's kind of like a reset button on the economy. It gives the average person a chance to, um, to um, better their, better themselves, but not right away. It, it's not one of those things where you get rich overnight, but if you plant a seed, it'll grow and it'll manifest into something awesome, okay? Um, it could p potentially turn you into a, a millionaire, okay? And not overnight. It's a five to 10 to 15 year plan and it's obtainable, easy, okay? Um, so ticker symbol T, um, which is, um, at and right? Um, they pay a dividend royalty, okay? So that's what um, I do is I, I target, in a, when this happens, I target those, okay? Because it's a slam dunk, you get uh, the stock cheap, and plus you get the, the dividend royalty is what do they make in the year, okay? They give a kickback, um, I think they're sitting at um, a pretty high percent, I think it's like seven or eight percent um, return, okay? Um, and what, what, what I do is I put that into account and I keep on adding my position. When it goes down really low, I just buy, okay? Um, so I do the opposite. Like my portfolio is losing, right? But I will buy these low prices because when the economy corrects itself, these things go up usually higher, okay? And then um, what you're doing is getting that dividend royalty too, which is compounding. It's sitting there compounding. Now you're the bank, okay? Crazy, eh? But you are, um, and you call the shots on that. Um, and what happens is after a 10-year term, like not term, but 10 years you leave it in. When I buy, these are for life. These are life decisions. I buy and forget about even selling. It doesn't matter how low it goes because it's compounding. It's just a money generator. It just sits there and generates and it compounds. Boom, 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 boom. You know when you buy a house, you pay compound interest and you're like, holy crap, this is hard to pay down. Well, it's reverse now. Instead of it, it um, now it's going up in big chunks. When you hit 50, 60, 70, 80 grand, it really climbs. It's like, kung, kung, kung. it goes right up. When you hit the um, half a mil, your millions is easy after that, okay? Um, and I wanted to explain something um, that, um, like me, I said I'm down almost 100 grand. Um, I'm also in the, um, AMC, a couple stocks like that. Um, but not that much down on my dividend plays because I said it, it, they, I get a royalty every three months, right? Which tops it up. But um, <clears throat> what I was saying about that is you only lose money if you sell, okay? Um, so potentially I'm down, but I'm not out. I'm not out of the game, okay? 
and I'm talking about my whole portfolio except my dividends are ex excluded, dividend stocks, okay? So like crypto, crypto's having a huge negative pull down right now. Okay, so let's just jump into crypto here. Um, it is ha it's in the green today a little bit, but these are low percentages. Um, we can go into here, I'll check this, I'll show you something else here. <clears throat> so, like I said, you only lose when you sell. So what you do is just hold this stuff, see? So look at all these negatives, negative, negative 16, uh, all this stuff, right? It's crazy. Um, crypto right there. So what you do is, uh, and so you just hold one and they add to the other position. When the market straightens itself out, these go back up, right? You gain usually more and then your dividend stocks go up and because they go up, your royalty compounds. So you're just, it, it, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy, okay? I just wanted to show you this, this is it. Bitcoin's down um, 49%, Ethereum 50%, and it goes on and on. We can go right into um, the blood coins right down here, the smaller ones, um, and it, it, it's just, it's, it's disheartening, it's, it's crazy. Um, there's a lot of sad faces right now, okay? But you gotta remember, you only lose when you sell, okay? These are investments. That's when you, you have to remember, you gotta take this fear factor. You can, you will not become a good trader or an investor if you have emotion. You have to detach yourself from it. This is a material object, okay? Um, so if you, can, if you can master that, you're on the road to success, okay? And I just wanted to share those things with you all, and um, I know they work. Okay, so if you wanted to know more about this stuff um, and systems and, and how to use this stuff correctly, um, we are, like I said, we are far from done. We're just hitting the tip of a collapse economy. Okay, it's going to get really bad. So if you wanted to learn more on how to use this to your advantage and come out on the other end um, in the next three to four years when this straightens out to be a very successful person, get a hold of me on the channel that I'm broadcasting on now. You can join our chat bar on live market trades um, at 5.45 every morning. There's a chat bar to, um, on the right hand side of the screen. You can come on there and introduce yourself and we can talk on there. We also have a private server that we go disclose and talk about personal private information on there that you can't talk about on YouTube because of, um, because of the, uh, the laws and stuff, okay? And um, yeah, I just wanted to say, keep it real, Wolfpack. And uh, I'm gonna have some more content on this. I'm gonna be following this very close. And um, I'm, I've got some more tools that I'm going to disclose and show you how to use them in more detail. Over and out, peace.